dear students welcome to mathematics class today we are going to start our second chapter that is simple subtraction in this chapter we will learn different ways of subtraction subtraction means to take away or to remove it is represented by minus sign now let us see some examples here we have eight flowers if i take away two flowers then how many flowers are left yes six flowers are left for eight flowers we have to write eight here we cross out two flowers for two flowers we have to write two just below the number 8 children don't forget to write minus sign if we subtract 2 from 8 what will be the answer yes answer will be 6 so 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 let us see another example here we have seven lollipops If I take away five lollipops, then how many lollipops are left? Yes, two lollipops are left. So seven minus five is equal to two. Let us see one more example. Here we have eight trees. If I cross four trees, then how many trees are left? Yes, four trees are left. So eight minus four is equal to four. Children, do you remember addition by using fingers and tallies? Same as addition, we can do subtraction by using fingers or by drawing lines. Let us see some examples. Our first question: nine minus four. To subtract four from nine. First, we have to write number nine. Then write minus sign. Then write the second number four, just below the number nine. Now let us learn how to do subtraction by drawing lines. Here, first number is nine, so draw nine lines. Now we have to subtract four from nine. So we have to remove. Four lines from nine lines. Now, how many lines are left? Yes, five lines are left. So nine minus four is equal to five. Now let us see another example. Our next question is five minus three. First, write the number five. Then write the number three, just below the number five. Don't forget to write minus sign. Here, first number is five. So draw five lines. Now we have to subtract three from five. So we have to remove three lines from five lines. Now how many lines are left? Yes, two lines are left. So five minus three is equal to two. I hope it is clear. Our next topic is subtraction on the number line. Children, we already learned addition on the number line. Now let us see how to do subtraction on the number line. Our first question is nine minus three. To subtract three from nine, we have to start from the first number, that is nine. Then take Three jumps to the left from nine. Put arrow mark to the left. Now we reach at number six. So nine minus three is equal to six. Now let us see one more example. Our next question is twelve minus five. Here also we have to start from the first number. That is twelve. Then take. Five jumps to the left from twelve. 
Now we reach that number 7. So 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. I hope you understood subtraction on the number line. Now let us learn the properties of subtraction. First property is zero property of subtraction. We know that zero means nothing. Therefore, when nothing is subtracted from a number, the number remains the same. For example, let us take the numbers 6 and 0. When we subtract 0 from 6, we get the number 6. Let us see one more example. Let us take the numbers 12 and 0. When we subtract 0 from 12, we get the number 12. So we can say that when we subtract 0 from a number, the difference will be the number itself. Second property is, if we subtract a number from the same number, we get 0. Let us take the numbers 7 and 7. If we subtract 7 from 7, we will get 0. Similarly, 9 minus 9 is equal to 0, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0, and 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. So we can say that if we subtract a number from the same number, we will get 0. I hope you understood the different ways of subtraction.